What's up everybody and welcome back to another video. Today's video will be a language lesson learning video. So today's video I've wanted to do for a long time, um, basically doing very common swear words or curse words here in Brazil, in Portuguese. Now, many cultures have their own curse words or swear words. You know, in English we have many, many. Uh, I'm sure every language around the world has some kind of curse word or uh, offensive word to call somebody else or just to simply yell out. Now here in Brazil is no exception and I learned a lot of these words many years ago growing up uh, le learning Portuguese, European Portuguese essentially, but a lot of these words obviously came from you know the origin country which is Portugal. So um, this video will probably take a few out uh, few cuts to do, you know a few takes uh, because of me laughing and speaking these words a word of warning if you get if you are a person who gets really easily offended this video is probably not for you so just a uh, you know a, a word of warning to you so I'm gonna do a list of the most 10 common uh, words or phrases here uh, curse words swear words here in Brazil now just before I get started if you've already been here to Brazil, you might have heard a lot of these words spoken uh, on the streets or between phone calls or whatever. A lot of them tend to be normalcies in everyday conversation, day-to-day -day conversation. So it's not always the fact, same thing in English, I guess, with swear words. It's not always like to be, to offend somebody, you know, it's kind of like now part of their lexicon and, and that's the way they converse with friends or really close uh, you know, colleagues, even family members. So that's how basically it goes down here in Brazil. So let's get started with number one of the list of 10. So the first one on the list is Fodice. Fodice. I'll put it down so you can see how it's spelled. Um, this is the pronouncing Fodice. Or you could also, you, there's also another rendition of Fodice. I think it's just the sound is a little bit different. Uh, Portuguese people tend to close their vowels, so it, it, it tends to be fuds, you know, all one word, but the correct spelling is, in, is uh, listed below. And this essentially is like saying, fuck it, you know, ah, fuds, like fuck it, you know. So very, very common one used here, obviously. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's pretty hilarious. So that's the number one. Let's go to number two. So the next word on the list, which is probably, I'd say the top three most used ones that I've heard, you know, from experience. And that word is carayu, carayu, um, which essentially means like, damn it, um, or saying like, fuck, damn it. I, I would say that's the most accurate way to you know, uh, translate to English. A lot of these words, by the way, don't have an exact translation. Some do and some don't. Um, it kind of goes, gets lost in translation, I would say, a lot of these words, uh, for sure. So this is a very common one you'll hear is carayu. And it's like, damn it, you know, carayu. It could also be like saying, wow, you know, carayu, wow. This is another way that a lot of Brazilians will speak, uh, especially if they're watching a football match or something like that, uh, <laughs> or something that surprises them. That's very, uh, very well used, that's for sure. So number three on my list of curse words, swear words here in Brazil is probably also a top five most used one, I, 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 would, I would bet. Um, and, that's f and that phrase is puta que pariu, puta que Pariu, which is another way of basically saying fuck it or damn it. Um, now, the literal translation of this would be like the slut that gave birth. I think that's the exact translation. Uh, puta ki pariu. So don't hold me to that. I'm sure that's probably what the translation is. Um, but it's if you use this phrase, it would be like damn it or fuck it, something like that. So. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a good, very commonly one I hear here in Brazil, for sure. Number four on the list, also very common. <laughs> I'm sure all of these are used a lot. Um, 
and this would be filho da puta filho da puta um, very it has the exact same translation in English son of a bitch I'm sure you guys have heard it probably in Spanish as well it's very very very, very similar um, yeah this one is not exactly a complimentary one this is more if you want to offend somebody that's for sure same thing in English um, you will hear this quite a bit um, try using it if you get angry with somebody here while you're in Brazil if you if you feel comfortable uh, getting into an altercation um, I don't recommend it but if you need to, if you need to express yourself these words are going to help you Ill a lot that's for sure number five on the list is very common one a uh, simple one and that word is merda merda uh, obviously shit you know the same thing um, in this context it's pretty much used the same way in english if you were to like if something bad happened or whatever you say merda keep merda you know what shit you know something like that um, in english you would just say shit but in brazil when it, most cases it would be like keep merda ah oh, that's shit you know something like that um, so definitely you'll hear this one a lot too uh, it, there's no doubt in my mind number six on the list is I hear this one probably more than all of them I would say and there's different variations there's one that's kind of like very offensive and there's one that's they use kind of I'll, I'll, I'll I'll demonstrate the difference. So the word is poha, poha. This is the pronunciation in Brazil, obviously, because they don't um, they don't pronounce the R sounds like they do in Portugal, which would be like porra, porra. That would be the, the European Portuguese. But here you would hear, you will hear poha, poha. Sounds almost like there's an H sound in the middle of the word. Um, the literal translation of this is basically jizz. Um, yeah, uh, you heard that correctly. Uh, but the the usage of it would be kind of like, damn it, you know, poha. It's like damn it. So that's the contextual um, element of this of this uh, swear word. Now the other version of it, which is kind of like the the least the least strong offensive. Well, and would be between like friends or close people who are close to you you'll hear kind of like a soft sounding one which would be like bull bull it would they wouldn't say the whole word and this is kind of like saying darn you know it's kind of a less less strong uh offensive word it's not an offensive word in this case if you're like bull amigo you know, it, you, you'll hear that. So listen for the difference here in Brazil when you're here. You'll hear the difference. Take some time, but you will hear the difference for sure. Number seven on the list is puta de merda. Puta de merda. Um, pretty offensive one if you uh, use this um, saying it to somebody. But if you say it kind of like, it's another way to say like, fuck it, you know, forget it. Um, that would be the best way and the literal translation of this would be um, slut from shit or whore of shit I guess that would be the best way whore of shit yeah. um, that would be the literal translation but it's kind of it doesn't really it doesn't really mean that it's kind of like saying damn it or fuck it yeah, I would say that yeah, a lot of fun uh, learning swear words isn't it <laughs> So number eight on the list is the word foda, foda. Now, it has a few different uh, variations, like meanings, um, contextually, in in a sent in a phrase or whatever. Now you could say foda. Uh, we'll say foda. It's like saying you're you're fucked. Okay. Now there's another. There's a nice way to say it, and it's kind of like. Uh, how would I say? This car is foda. Esh carro é foda. It's kind of like saying this car is fucking good. You know, it's a very strong way to say it's so good. You know, um, I've heard the differences here. I've used it a few times myself here in Brazil, so um, you will hear this word a lot. Um, so there it is, <laughs> number eight. Let's go on to number nine on the list. 
So number nine will would be. V, it's a phrase, and you, again, very common. Vai toma no ku, okay? So vai toma no ku, literally means go take it in the ass. Now, <laughs> you will hear this quite a lot, as my entire list that I've that I've done up to this point um, with you in this video. You will hear them all. You will hear you will hear them often. Um, but this and this one is definitely no exception. Um, you don't really want to say this to someone unless they've really done something bad to you. Okay, so just keep that in mind. So number ten on the list, and we'll have a bonus one actually for you at number eleven. Um, but number ten, um, I don't say I hear this one too often anymore. I used to maybe maybe uh, five to ten years ago, uh, and the word is kasich. Kasich, and I would say it's like it's like saying wow. You're like kasich. You'll hear it exactly like that the pronunciation, and it's kind of like wow. You know. Um, now the other the other word the other meaning for it is um, cock or penis or whatever, um, but in a derogatory way. It's not like the medical term. It would be the derogatory way if you if you said something if you said that to somebody. So you can use this word, but I would generally use it only when you're like trying to say damn or something like that in a situation. So um, so a bonus word for you. I wouldn't say it's a swear word, um, but it is a word that is used a hell of a lot here in Brazil, I would say. Uh, same thing in Portugal, but more so in Brazil. Um, and that word is sacanagem. Sacanagem. Um, and that word basically means to like... Um, in, Eng in British English, it would be like taking the piss. So it's like fucking with me. Are you fucking with me? Tad sacanaging, you'll hear that. Tad sacanaging, are you fucking with me? Taking the piss. Um, so that's your bonus 11, uh, number 11 on the list. Um, it really took me quite a bit of time to do this video because I was just laughing every single time. So um, I won't share the outtakes. It was just trying to keep a straight face through saying these words. You know, once you learn Portuguese, and you learn the swear words um, that go along with the language, just like any other language, um, it's really, really a lot of fun to utilize it in your everyday, uh, you know, conversations with people you know here, especially if you're in Brazil long term or whatnot. It is quite a lot of fun. It's hilarious. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit the like button. Um, subscribe if it's your first time on my channel. And in the description below, if you guys like to leave comments about other words that you've heard in Portuguese that is quite common here in Brazil, especially for you guys, you Brazilians who are following me on my channel, I know that there's a few of you, um, some words that I may have missed. I didn't want to do a whole massive amount of lists. There are quite a few other words that I didn't include in this list, but uh, this is definitely um, the essentials that you need to know before coming to Brazil. And don't think that the thing that I find which is associated with people is that uh, it's uneducated people that use these words. It's totally not true here in Brazil. Um, a lot of people will think that, oh, they're using swear words. Obviously, you don't use these words if it's like business related or if you're visiting your grandma or something like that. You don't use those types of words. But it is an everyday um, usage here in Brazil. You'll hear it a lot. That's, I'm just giving you the heads up for when you visit Brazil, okay? So, until the next video, guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next one, and take care. Ciao.